safe to say we are very excited about yes. our next guest. She, well, there's a lot of things. She has been inspiring audiences for decades. Debbie Allen is an Emmy and Golden Globe Award winner. You likely know her from Fame, where she starred as dance teacher Lydia Grant. Look at that kick. I'm sorry, I was just staring at that kick. Holy smokes. She went from the dance studio to the OR. Since 2011, she starred as Dr. Katherine Avery in one Grey's Anatomy. Small show. No one's ever heard only of it. Only my favorite show of all time. She's also an executive producer on the show, so it's only appropriate that now she's launching a health campaign in real life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she is working to educate others about retinal disease and prioritizing eye health. Without any further ado, Debbie Allen, everybody. Hello, hello. What a oh. great introduction. Thank you so much. We, we will we'll be your hype women. We get, could not be more thrilled <laughs> to be on this couch, and we even match her, okay? A moment I for know. that. No, we, we got did not the memo. call each other. We didn't call each other. We're doing something right, That's basically, right. Is, That's right. is what I'm We've taking We've been channel away from this. channeling you for weeks. Let's start first and foremost and talk about this health campaign. Yes, I am really, I'm really excited to be collaborating with Prevent Blindness, which is a nonprofit and Regeneron, a biotech mm -hmm. company, to launch this campaign, the Great Eye Movement, mm -hmm. to bring awareness of retinal diseases and, and uh, hopefully call people to action to start to be proactive about their eye health. Right. You know, the Great Eye Movement, uh, the messaging is in the title because yeah. great is spelled G-R, the number eight, eye movement, and the significance of the eight is that if you take an eight and put it on its side, it looks like two eyes looking at you. Oh my God. And today, September the 8th, oh, and we're wow. hoping that everyone on the 8th of every month will go on that website, thegreateyemovement.com, yeah. and get information about these eye diseases and uh, things they can do. You know, it's very interesting. I'm really talking very targetedly to the 60 plus crowd, mm -hmm. which I'm a member. Don't look who, it, but here we are. <laughs> Well, 95% of, of, of them have no idea that they are at risk and don't even know of the kind of retinal diseases mm -hmm. that they might be, might be on their way. Right. Like wet age uh, related macular degeneration. Sure, there's, and it was, it, I think it's so, as human, I forget about my eye health. Yes. I'm 49. I went into the eye doctor's office. She said, oh, we've been expecting you. Oh, well. And I, because everyone's eyes start to go. But I think what you're saying is very important because I have a mom who's 86 mm -hmm. and she waited until it was too late to finally figure out what to do. So this is, this is, messaging is really on target. It's really on target and it's important. So if people would really take a moment mm -hmm. and, and I really can't say the website enough, mm -hmm. thegreateyemovement.com, you'll get so much information. Yeah and you'll learn about the diseases, the things you can do. And this is information that's good for families, health care givers, you know, just so you can provide. My mom just turned 100. Oh, oh my God. She just turned 100. There and we go. And one of the main things we do with mommy is take her to the eye doctor. Yeah. It's one of the main things that we prioritize because uh, we want her to be able to see us and exactly. enjoy everything that we're doing. And we've been on the lookout for that wet age related Sure. Macular degeneration, well, yeah. which is something I didn't really know about until I started taking mom. And then with this campaign, I realized how important it is. Right. And so I hope people will pay attention. I think they I will. love this too, and it's very important. This is something my late grandfather, we dealt with with mm -hmm. him too. He had macular de degeneration. And it is important because not only do we not know about it, but I think about him and, you know, what, what is what he, his, his resources right. and, and, like, how he's getting this information. So it's right. really, really important for the, for the folks that you're targeting, the age demo, but also the family members yeah. who love them and want them to stick around. Yes. We want them to stick around. And if Debbie Allen is telling you to do it, do it. Well, exactly. Do I'm, I'm going to do it myself. I mean, and besides this campaign, like we mentioned, multi-hyphenate right here, right. you have the Debbie Allen Dance Academy, yes. where you are uplifting and empowering those youth through dance. I am. I love we it. love it. We've been following you forever on that front as well. Talk to us about the relationship that you have with dance and why it's such an important part of your life and your outreach. Oh, thank you for that question. The Debbie Allen Dance Academy is a real purpose for me to wake up every morning because, you know, think about the pandemic that we've gone through and everything. Young people need the arts. And for me as a young kid growing up in the 60s, it was dance that helped me survive the segregation and Jim Crow of it all. And young people need this. And so at the Debbie Allen Dance Academy, I started a middle school. So I have the sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Wow. And I have some of the most gifted 
young people coming from all over, moving to Los Angeles to train. But we also have so many outreach programs. We have a program called Journey of Yourself, where we're teaching cancer patients at different stages of their diagnosis. We're teaching um, Calibri Arts as elders from wow. 65 to I 95. Love this. And you can believe I love this. that they will be <laughs> in the great. I movement. Yeah. That's right. com That's there you go. Yes, they well, will. Cross pollination. <laughs> it's beautiful. Your worlds, your worlds are coming together. <laughs> well, they do. Yeah. It really is. Dance is a transformative it's and medicine. healing yeah. art. And, Let me tell you um, something. When I was a little 10-year-old girl on Baychester Avenue in the Bronx, the Castro family watched fame. Yes. And I was a terrible dancer, but I was a gymnast. And I watched you, and I said, well, Debbie Allen said, or whatever your character's name was, that I need to sweat. And I believed you, and I'm still sweating. You're sweating right now. <laughs> I saw you running down there to see that band. <laughs> that was great. But you, I think you have, you, you really are an icon for so many people, just for all of the work that you do, and fame, your dance academy, this I campaign. Um, mm -hmm. You have a storied history with Broadway. We are in New York City, down I the street know, from the great I white know. way. When we were talking in the morning meeting about all the Broadway productions you've either been in or been a part of, I was like, yeah. I, what, I, I don't know, hot tin roof I and know. all that. Yeah, right. Well, I'm trying to get one back here in the spring. I just Thank directed goodness. a play, Fetch Clay, Make Man. There was the, all the buzz in L.A. when things were going down. Mm -hmm. And so we're hopeful about coming here maybe in the late spring or early oh. summer. Wow. Thank God. Of 2024. Yeah. That okay. was going to be that was going to be one of our questions. So yes. I'm glad I'm, we can <laughs> we, check that we one. Put it in your journal. <laughs> right now. It's been set on live television. It's officially manifesting. It's manifesting. Happening. I'm going to the theater tonight. What, are you, what are you seeing? I'm going to take my husband to see Some Like It Hot. Oh my God! I and just... then tomorrow night we're going to go see Pearly. And then last night we saw Savion Glover at the Blue Note. Oh my God! The Blue Note. That was like genius like something it was like looking in on a seance it was like they were possessed wow. oh my god it was fantastic i want to look in fantastic. on a seance wow <laughs> so you re I, I was going to ask you as someone who's been on both sides of the stage and the camera right you still take it in like a mere mortal like the way we do oh yeah because you know inspiration comes from so many places you know when we were we just came from europe and we went to art galleries and oh, seeing yeah. paintings makes you think of colors and ideas and walking past that opera house made, yeah. reminded me that I still want to do an opera at some point. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. we so, got a lot coming down the pipeline. From yeah, I think out. it's very important for people to support the theater because it's been tough with COVID right oh now. God. They're closing so many theaters across the country yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, well, they Mark, always have a place here on this show. That's right. I'm glad to know mm -hmm. that you guys we, are here and so mm -hmm. alive. Love, and love, love. So uh, engaged. And speaking of support, Obviously, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention that a lot of people, myself included, are a huge fan of yours just from Grey's Anatomy. And, and you've been on the front lines of these picket lines mm -hmm. uh, yes. regarding the, the actors and the writer's strikes. Talk yes. to us about why it's so important to, for you to be out oh. there. Well, you know, it's all of us. It's not like the top to the bottom. It's mm -hmm. all of everybody. us. Everybody. And everybody's talking about a lot of things, but there are a lot of people that are not being talked about. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that work in craft service. That's right and props makeup and makeup mm -hmm. who live check to check. They yeah. don't have a contract for a year yep. or every episode. And people are stranded and suffering. And I'm just hoping that these lines that apparently have been drawn in the sand mm -hmm. kind of get mm -hmm. washed away. Com yeah, washed away. Somebody's got to... E.T., come down and make it make sense. Come Not E.T. Come on, E.T. <laughs> come on. And now we've summoned the aliens for the assistance. It's got to be someone from out of this world, right? Hey, yeah. Somebody. Debbie, Debbie Allen, thank you so much for joining us. I'm this so happy to treat. be with you and so happy to be in New York. And thank you so much for supporting this campaign. Absolutely. Anything you do, keep on, keep on doing it. And That's you're right. always welcome back here That's because right. we are your number one fan. Next spring. Debbie Allen, look All for right. her next Let's spring. Let's see what's happening. Hey, and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.